Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Subaru time again. Uh, we've got it parked like this because it, it takes up a lot of space. So today we are installing a new turbo back exhaust onto the WRX. We've got the NVIDIA N1 uh, turbo back. So basically it's replacing the downpipe, which is right here, and then the cat back as well. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. It hopefully shouldn't take me uh, longer than just today to install it. I don't think it will um, because it's just an exhaust. I've already got the turbo heat shield off and I'm going to replace uh, this piece with uh, a turbo heat shield from Cobb Tuning. So now we can finally get to see the turb skis down there. Well, I say turb skis, it's, it's, it's one. There's one turbocharger. You know what? Natural light actually is so nice. It actually looks like I have really great lighting in here even though I don't. I'm not sure what to do about these side skirt extensions. Uh, I kind of have to remove them in order to install the exhaust. Okay, I've got the car on stands. Uh, I've already loosened the bolts to the uh, between the turbo and downpipe, so that should come off pretty easily. And then we'll just pull the whole exhaust system. We'll start off by removing the uh, hangers around the muffler, and then we'll move forward. My exhaust hanger tool, I found it. Oh, that's so easy, wow. Definitely if you're doing exhaust work, get a pair of exhaust hanger. Uh, pliers, exhaust hanger tool, whatever you want to call it. It makes life so much easier. Now there's a couple bolts just kind of down the line a little bit. Now I know I should be recording a lot more than I have been, but uh, yeah, pretty much uh, from the cat back is already uh, ready to come out. So I've got the bolts here both of them snapped but that's okay because I have more bolts in that box there thank you Nvidia for actually including bolts I have one hanger and then it's gonna drop so I'm going to put the jack underneath the muffler and then take off that hanger and then pull the exhaust there's the hanger right there that we're aiming for hopefully that should work Oh, can't do any undershots. Hooray. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Loud exhaust, here we come. Okay, so we are going to start the, the car up. Uh, no exhaust after the cat. I'm only going to run it for a few seconds because I don't want to kill myself in here. But anyway, it's going. I'm actually a little bit worried that it's going to be major loud. It is going to be major loud. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, mad. Oh, that is mad. Holy hell. Okay. We're shutting it off now. Jeez, that sounds good. So I've gone ahead and wrapped the uh, downpipe in some uh, header wrap. So hopefully it won't melt my entire car. Uh, unfortunately, the oxygen sensor here is pretty much impossible to come out, but I've got a new oxygen sensor coming since this one is probably already going out anyway. Uh, so I've got a new oxygen sensor coming along, uh, it should be here at some point, I think it's showing up tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and install the full exhaust and then tomorrow we just need to install the oxygen sensor, which is really easy. Um, so yeah, we just have to install the downpipe and then bolt up the midpipe and then bolt up the... Uh, the full exhaust so should be 
quite a simple process. Let's get started. So unfortunately I haven't been able to record too much, but I just got the downpipe installed. Uh, pretty much, I think I already said this, but I don't remember, uh, but just in case I didn't, uh, I'm installing the full exhaust and then I'm getting my O2 sensor tomorrow and then I'll just plug that in and we should be good to go. So now we've got the downpipe in. So now we've got to install the mid pipe and then the muffler. And then that's the full exhaust done with the exception of the O2 sensor, which is very easy to install. It's just threading in the sensor and then plugging it in. Of course, I've got to get it out of the plastic first. Check out this exhaust tip though, jeez, jeez, Subaru tings, a. Eh? So yeah, let's just get the muffler installed and then we'll be done for the day. Except this car can't go on the ground still, but that's all right. Now, we just need to connect the mid pipe to the axle back slash the muffler. And we'll be good to go. Now, uh, a couple things to consider. One, uh, there is going to be an exhaust leak because, of course, I haven't plugged in the O2 sensor. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, and also, two, obviously, this is a cold start. Um, and three, this is going to sound really fucking awesome. In other words, it's essentially a straight pipe, but um, not really, because it has a small little muffler on it. Here's the finished product. We got the exhaust and we've got the uh, heat shield, so I don't melt my wrap, because that would kind of suck. Uh, yeah, it's actually really sick and really loud. It doesn't seem like anyone's outside, though, to get really mad at me, which is good, which is good. No furious neighbors today, but... Probably at some point. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Gauges are installed next video, even though uh, I uh, have started installing the gauges before this video, but they're, it's going to go out after. So I don't miss another upload, because I missed last week. Uh, it's been really busy out here and stuff, unfortunately. But uh, it's all right, um, I hope. Um, since, you know, this is a banger. This is a, I'm, at least anyway for me, this is a banger of a video. I'm gassed about this. Uh, but that's going to be it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, comment below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, goodbye. My dog is scared of thunder, and uh, my exhaust is um, quite loud. So, uh, yeah. My exhaust um, scares my dog. Maybe, <laughs> uh, oh man, this is, I don't know how I'm going to deal with you, Sydney. How am I going to deal with you, hmm? I've got a thundering exhaust, and she's afraid of it. Just loud car problems, am I right? <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video now, goodbye.